Hey guys, today we are going to talk about the top 10 Frontier decks. Frontier is a new format. It includes M2015, Cons of Tarkir, Dragons of Tarkir, and that entire block, as well as any cards currently in Standard. So that would be Battle for Zendikar block, as well as the Innistrad block, and now the Kaladesh block. Kind of like a... Hey, I have this rally deck left over from when Cons of Tarkir were still legal. Now I want to play it. It also includes cards from Magic Origins and Fate Reforged. So it's kind of like old stuff with all the stuff in standard. Let's talk about the top 10 decks. Uh, the first deck we're looking at is an elf deck. So elves were never a top tier deck, but they do get a little bit better. Uh, you have your Elvis Mystics, your Trappers, your Elite, your Visionary. Essentially, this is the same deck I use when I need gold coins on Magic Duels. It is extremely powerful and very fun to play. Shaman of the Pack is OP. It just deals so much damage because uh, you have so many elves on the field and the elves tap mana to produce other elves, which is great. So you do have your one drop. Elvis Mystic, which is something that you absolutely need for this deck, and it can create really explosive turns. Next, we're going to look at the Mono Red deck. This is my ninth favorite deck. Mono Red has everything that it used to have. It has the Pile Drivers, which really didn't see that much play. Glory Chaser, your Rabble Masters, which saw a ton of play. Your Bushwhackers, which are very good. Your Dragon Fodder, Lightning Strike. Battle Rage, it stroke, stoke the flames. It is like the previous 2015 M215 deck. All these decks you're going to see, you might remember them because they used to be old decks. This one is mono red and it is 5.8% of the meta. Now let's talk about the interesting human token deck where you have one of the strongest cards in this format is a princess monastery swift spare or taylor swift as i call her uh, it's a very very strong card you do have your wild slash your lightning strike lightning strike being the premier red removal slash damage spell you have phyllis lieutenant mantis rider is very good Reflector Mage, essentially you play humans. You also get to run Gideon, Hero of Akros, which is a very, very strong card in this format as a one drop. Next, we get to look at a more expensive version, which is Coco. Uh, it is the Coco version that plays off the combo. It also has Rally, so it's a combination of Rally and Coco you need to hit a maximal amount of creatures which then you sacrifice and then you bring them back a rally to trigger everything again. So your win cons are very, it's a cutthroat would be your win con, Natuko Husk attacking a giant 2020 after sacrificing eight, like nine creatures, it gets there. You also play dig through time. So you have the ability to play some of the strongest blue cards in cons of Tarkir. We're going to take a look at a more Grixis control. It's only Grixis because it plays Kolgan's Command as the only red card. But still, a very strong card. We do see some new cards. Torrential, Gear Hulk, and Lily Honor, The Last Hope. Lily Honor, The Last Hope is really that good. If Lily Honor of the Veil was not in Modern, I think The Last Hope would be the card, the go-to card. It's amazing creature removal. So you have your languages, your mergers of cuts, your dig through times. A very strong control deck. Uh, it does rely heavily on Jace to filter your draws, but a fun deck nonetheless. And there's enough removal and control to make it a complete deck. Next, we're looking at the Siege Rhino. Uh, this deck has been called Multicolor because it has so many different colors. It has green, black, white, and red. And not just like just randomly, you know, oh, we're splashing for red. No, it has pretty much equal components of each. 
Your red gives you lightning strike, and it gives you Mar being in Mardu gives you crackling doom, which is one of the best removal in this format, especially given how easy it is to hit your mana. Yes, you don't have shock lands because they're not legal. Remember, it's M two thousand fifteen and later, but you have battle lands, which is the same thing almost. Next, we will look at a more. It's also multicolor, but it's more of a. We're going to rely on Delirium. So you have your Narwood Dyrad, which becomes big with Delirium. Obviously, you have your Grim Flare, which is very good with Delirium. You have your Lilies, you have your Chandras. The good, interesting thing about this format is you don't necessarily need to spend that much money if you've been playing Standard for some time. Standard is... If you've been playing Standard since uh, Khans of Tarkir, you should have all these staples. You should have your fetch lands, you should have your battle lands, you should have you know, your Nyssa Ward Wakers. You should have all these cards. Next, we will take a look at a somewhat... I mean, here we see Kalidus. I will call this Siege Rhino, but we also see Goblin Dark Dwellers. Crackling Doom, again, is a very strong card. This is the third most powerful deck, in my opinion. 2.94% of the meta. It has everything you want. It has control. It has planeswalkers. It has one planeswalker. And it's Kalidus. Kalidus is extremely good against Rally decks, Rally or Coco. Um, especially Rally, because they sacrifice, you get creatures, and it's a good trade off for you. Very strong deck. Now we're going to get into my top two decks, and I love these two decks. I will make both of them and do a deck tech eventually. This deck is a dragon's deck i mean how it is Kolagon's dragon but you do have your jaces for your blue your stubborn denial to protect your dragons you have your lily you have your kalidus you have four thunder break regents and two Kolagon, the storm fury and one dragon lord Kolagon and one slim gar this deck is just so much fun and you even get to play draconic Draconic Roar is one of my favorite cards. It just didn't really see that much play. So you actually get a dragon deck. You can play this dragon deck. And I think altering these cards would be amazing. That's what I'm going to do. Lastly, this is my favorite deck. It has everything you really need. It is blue, black, and green. Not a typical color that you see. Not a typical deck color that you see. You got your Den Protectors, you got your Jace for Value, your Wayfinders to fill up your Graveyard, your Nyssa, I love Nyssa, Tyler's Tracker, your One Ofs, your Two Lilies of the Last Hope. It plays as a control deck, but I can't explain it. It's just a ton of fun because there's a lot of interactivity. You get to interact with your opponents pretty much with every one of these cards. Uh, Den Protectors also very good, and they're a One Of. It's almost like playing an ED8 deck. So those are my top 10. Uh, leave a comment below of what Frontier deck you're going to make. I'm probably going to do a deck tech at least on the last two because I have all the cards. Anyway, bye guys.